esteemed elected council members of the Squamish Nation, and on behalf of the Squamish Nation and our relatives, the Musqueam and the tsleil which we share this beautiful land with, I want to welcome each and every one of you to this beautiful day and this beautiful gathering. All give yourselves a round of applause for attending today. We are honored by your presence. Today is about reconciliation, and reconciliation needs to be more than a word. It needs to recognize that story that our auntie, our dear elder, just told you. We must recognize that past. We must embrace that so that history does not repeat itself. We are resurgent, we are vibrant as First Nations. We must come together and establish new relationships. Reconciliation is the reestablishment of a good relationship. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming today to speak with one voice and, walk, and march together so that we can stand and say reconciliation isn't a word, it's an action. And we're all marching today to say that together in unity. So thank you very much. I am heartened and proud to see our brothers and sisters in their regalia flying their flags from all four corners of Turtle Island coming to Vancouver to show that as Indigenous people we stand together. And I want all of our Indigenous people to look around and see all of the other faces, all of our friends that aren't Indigenous that are standing here with us today saying, your past is our past. And we must recognize that if we're going to truly reconcile and go forward as one people, as one Canada. So on behalf of the Skohokish people, we thank you for coming here today. Osiam, enjoy the day. Greetings, all my relatives. Namuyut, we are one. I want to hear that from all of you. Namuyut. 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 Oh, that sounds beautiful. And you're all beautiful people for being here today. This is an important moment for all of us in this country and in this province and in this beautiful city. We are talking about ourselves. We are walking for each other. We are looking for a way forward together that, that will be unlike anything we've ever walked before where hope shall prevail and we'll all be inspired to be the best kinds of human beings that we possibly can be. So to the survivors, we remember you. That's why all these people are here. They want to reconcile with us to the families of the missing and murdered indigenous women and girls, we remember them too. For all of the children who've been taken in the 60s scoop, we remember you all. And one day, because we gather like this, and one day because we open our hearts and our minds, and we look into each other and we determine that we are human beings together. Namuyut. And not only that, the, prom the promise goes further and deeper than that as well. As we move forward in reconciliation with indigenous people, we will move forward in, re in reconciliation with each other. All of our difference, all of our diversity, all of different languages, all of different cultures. We're going to learn how to look after each other and not to hurt each other anymore. And so when we do that, when we do that, this great country will begin to embrace its own values of peace and love and justice and inclusion 
and all of those things we've been talking about for a long time. We're going to live it out real. As far back as I can see in this crowd, all of us are committed to those beautiful ideas about one humanity for each other. And like our local Coast Salish people always say, we lift our hands up to you. Greetings, all my relatives. I love you all, and I hope that in this walk today, we discover many things about ourselves. But more important, that beyond this day, we take it personally for all of us here to move the idea of reconciliation forward. So let the walk begin.